George W. Bush, 43rd President of the United States, and a golfer, pretzel fanatic, war criminal, and most famously... No, Bush didn't do 9-11, Mr. Enter did that. Most famously, after his presidency, he was a hot dog vendor. Wait, what? Flash games. I played a lot of them as a kid. A lot of them were ones that I really shouldn't have played as a kid. But don't worry about me, I turned out fine! I think. Which brings me to answer this question. What is the weirdest Flash game that I've ever played? If you saw the title of this video, you probably already guessed by now. It's this game. It's the W. Bush Hot Dog Game. Like, this game is so obscure, I'm surprised Flashpoint even has it archived. But what makes this game so interesting, in my opinion, is pretty much... Why does this game even exist? Like, no offense to Y8.com, but who asks for something like this? Well, I think I have an answer for that. While researching and getting the footage for this video, I found out that there are even more Bush-themed games. I guess I should have known this, considering how much of a meme W was back then. There's Bush Shootout, which is the Bush game people probably remember most. Bush Cooking, which is not a sequel to Hot Dog Bush, mind you. At least four or five games about the shoe and which I think is kind of funny. Bush aerobics? Oh, okay, you get the idea. Basically, he was a big deal back then. I mean, he was a sitting US president. I won't play any of these games because I haven't as a kid. I just wanted to show you that this one specific game exists. So enough beating around the bush. Let's go on to Hot Dog Bush. Eh? Uh -huh. uh -huh. What do you think? Was that a gut buster or what? Wasn't that funny? Yeah, you're right, that was kinda bad. Like most Flash games, this game's plot is simple. After George Dubs gets the boot, he's left wondering what he's going to do after his presidency. Holy moly, what am I gonna do now? Some guy throws a hot dog in the trash, and this half-eating hot dog gives George an idea. And this idea leads to Bush becoming a hot dog vendor. He's Hot Dog Bush. Like, George, buddy. You are incredibly rich off the spoils from the Iraq War. Why can't you retire off that? Oh, wait, those are Baracks now. Obama! Ah, well, you do you, George. I mean, you gotta pay for your family's mansions in Maine somehow. There are two different game modes, but I will go with career since it is the main story. There are five places in New York which you have to sell hot dogs in. Yeah, he decided to set up shop in New York. I mean, he was in D.C. First stop, the Bronx. The game is your typical cooking simulation game, except W is the one running the show. You cook the dogs, you bond them, put on whatever, and give it to the customers. Sometimes you have to give them other items, like drinks and fries. At the beginning of each day, you are given a goal of how much money you need to make for that day. Just give the customers the order, and they will pay you. But sometimes they will try to run away without paying, but you can force them to come back and they will pay you. The number of money you need to make for the day increases after every day, and as the days progress, you will also unlock other items such as- Wait, BURGERS?! Excuse me, my name is George W. Hot Dog Bush! I serve only- Huh, I guess I do serve burgers. Anyway, after five days, the week is over, and you unlock the next area. This time, it's Yankee Stadium which is still in the Bronx. And no, Mets fans, City Field isn't in this game. Sorry about that. By the time you reach Yankee Stadium, you- Hey, whoa, that's not, uh... Huh, the Yankees don't have a mascot. Well, who's this then? Anyway, what I was going to say was by this point, I began feeling the pressure of the high demand. For example, at the end of Tuesday, I didn't even break 500 like I usually do. Another issue was that I noticed one time I had a lot of customers, but hardly any food cooking. So I had to come up with a system. A system which I refer to as calculus. I had to come up with the optimum way of production, and I think I got it down. My original calculus went something like this. 
At the start of every day, place the buns down, then fill the grill. Then click on the potatoes to make fries. As time progresses, make sure it's completely full, especially the fries, because they do love their fries. It's not perfect, but it's adequate. And as I progressed, I refined the process, especially when I was introduced to new items. Next, we cross the, uh... Harlem River to Manhattan, where we go to Central Park. Hey, I don't live in the area. I'd even call the Metropolitan Museum of Art by name in a Lightning Thief video. By the way, if you haven't seen that video already, go check it out. I put a lot of effort into it. By this point, the heat became real. I actually had to really focus on how I gave out food. It was here when I began to notice people leaving after they waited too long. Even when I had their order ready to give to them, they just leave. Alright, I think I'm doing okay. Whoa, ho, oh, two french fries?! I'm already struggling to give out one! Why do you need two?! Ah. Fine, have your double order of french fries, I, I hope you choke on them. Right, on to Times Square. Oh, oh boy, oh jeez, holy oh, moly. moly, I'm feeling it now, Mr. Krabs! This part wasn't all that bad, actually, mostly because I've gotten better at the game since then. It's also because here, people have started paying me more, which has led me to break 600 on some days. On Times Square, I was making bank and making tank. And speaking of bank, I then moved on to the final location, Wall Street. <sighs> okay, Novaya, just stick to the calculus and you'll do fine. Wall Street is where your skills are really put to the test, and it was here when I really struggled to keep up. So much so that I started giving people the wrong order on accident due to the pressure. I wasn't thinking straight. Whoa, whoa, okay. It's starting to get bad. Whoa, okay. Slow down, please. Oh, oh no. Oh no! Oh no! Wait, three french fries?! Are my augmented eyes seeing this right? Like, bro, you're like 80! You're gonna die of a heart attack from eating that much! Like, who orders three french fries?! Kill me. But by the end of Friday, I prevailed. I finally finished well over the goal, and as a result, we get to see the final cutscene where- Wait, what? Holy moly. Just as you thought it was over, aliens abduct W and decided they want his hot dogs and burgers. Oh, I'm an extra Which means that there is still one more place left to go. SPACE! So here we go. If you thought Wall Street was tough, you have not experienced the Space Week. I kid you not, this week is hell. My calculus didn't matter anymore. I was completely lost in the sauce. I barely have my head above water by the end. Come on, just try to keep everybody's order. Oh god, so many angry aliens. Oh, holy moly. I'm switching up orders because I have to work as fast as possible. Oh jeez, oh jeez. No, don't leave! I have your order right here! The fact that Earth will be destroyed if I don't succeed doesn't help. Come on, please be enough to finish. Oh, it's not enough. I failed humanity! I don't want Earth to die! Alright, let's just try again. If you don't make your goal by the end of the day, you are given a tip on how you can improve. You will get less money from customers if you serve them the wrong items? Wow! Great advice to follow while I rush out everybody's orders in order to get as much as possible to reach my goal! By the time Friday rolls around, I was at my limit. I was feeling fatigued. Tired. I actually had to make two separate recordings because I had to take breaks. Something about this day in particular made me realize that my calculus alone wasn't enough. Speed wasn't enough. Yet the game had more than enough alien customers to spare. In the end, this will come down to pure skill. And finally, with one final order complete, the goal was reached. I have done it. The Earth has been saved, and W finally gets to go back home to a hero's welcome when... 
Who said anything about sending you back to Earth? Holy moly. Well, George, you could have been tried for your crimes against humanity back on Earth, so consider yourself lucky right here. You do know how to sling those glizzies after all. And that is the end of career mode. There's also a speed mode you can do. Try to get as many orders as done as possible in an endless day. But I think I've played this game enough, so I'll stop talking about it. Alright, that's all I have for this video. The game isn't bad, it just exists. Now go watch my other content. <laughs>